What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Lyric, and today we are back with another YouTube video. I am super, super excited because today we're doing something a little bit different. I am going to be showing you all my skincare routine, in particular, my nighttime skincare routine. To be honest, I really only have a skin a nighttime skincare routine that I don't even do every night. I should, but I don't. I'm starting really to get more into skincare and everything like that. <laughs> As with the amount of makeup videos that I have to film and that I do, um, it's really important for me to take care of the skin and, you know, just be on top of that. So I'm learning more all the time about skincare and I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to be sent um, a couple products from different brands on skincare. Today I'm going to show you one in particular that I received. Um, yeah, and we're just going to have fun with it. I don't really have a morning routine or anything like that yet developed, but I believe I have mostly just like a mix of oily slash 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 dry skin every now and then um so like a mixture i guess i would say um but if you want to know all the technicalities of my skin i don't really know um <laughs> but i'm gonna show you guys what products that i use every so often on my skin at night time so let's get into it some products by this brand as you can see the brand's name is Laneige yeah um Laneige Laneige I'm probably saying their name really really wrong sorry about that three products from them that I have been using for quite a while now um and they're really really good and I'm going to name them off for you. So the first product I got by Laneige is the Water Bank Moisture um, <clears throat> Moisture Cream. It, <clears throat> it is a rich moisture cream for soothing, skin strengthening, hydration. The next one that I usually go in with is the Water Sleeping Mask. Um, and it is, I don't know what it's, <laughs> I don't know what it's for. Overnight moisture recharging gel mask with sleep scent delivers deep hydration. And then I have the Laneige lip sleeping mask, which I love and it smells so good. Um, Basically, it is a nutrient-rich moisture. Wait, I'm reading the wrong one. It's up here. It is an overnight lip moisture therapy for baby soft lips. So, let's go in with it. So, this is what the bottle looks like. I actually got the little, I believe they have bigger sizes of this. I believe I got more of like the sample size. But, here it is. It's like a... It's very, very, smells very good. It's very soothing. Like that's a perfect word for it. Very soothing. And I, I think it makes my skin feel soft. And once again, I love the smell. I just kind of put it there, there, and there. I'm pretty bad at describing it, but so that's how it looks. Makes my skin feel very soft and very smooth afterwards. And that's about the amount that I put. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So next I have the water sleeping mask in this blue bottle. I love the packaging of these. And this one looks like this. It's like a little blue, little blue. Um, almost like clear watery looking product and 
it feels a lot lighter on the skin like it feels um not it's not as thick of a consistency as the um what do you call the other one the water bank moisture cream it it has a lighter consistency but it still feels really good i finally go in with my lip mask by Laneige and i love it it smells really good this one definitely has a thicker consistency and it's pink i love that for the most part the creams or the you know the product inside matches the bottle i think that's really cool mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. next i'm gonna go with my sephora um roller what do you call this this is a face roller yeah it's just a face roller and that's what it looks like it's a pink roller every time i apply this to my skin it is so cold and i believe that's for a reason but i really really like it it's about that size and i honestly don't remember why i decided i wanted it i just thought that these look really cool i guess and i saw a couple other people on youtube using it for like their skincare routine and i wanted to try it um this mini rose quartz facial roller is perfectly sized for on the go rolling it's believed to have a skin radiance boosting effect the stone can be refrigerated for an extra cooling effect um, slight variations in stone color are due to the unique natural character of this product. Features sustainably developed molded paper pulp tray and recycled plastic lid. So usually I only roll upwards with it to kind of keep my skin lifted and yeah, rolling down to me just seems counterproductive I don't know <laughs> this is my last and final step let's put these away this is the product I have received from slow brew botanical um, it is the fresh boost yuzu clay mask and I love it it's actually really fun to apply and I believe you're mostly supposed to apply it to a more fresh face because they say to like rinse your face off or whatever so I've never tried to apply it after my normal nighttime skincare routine I never have tried to apply it after that um so we'll see how this goes but I'm gonna do it tonight and I'm not gonna apply too much to my face but just enough and this one is a slightly longer process because you have to keep it on your face for a certain amount of time for it to do its thing. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love that it's all yellow. And I'm gonna read to you some of the benefits of it. The product comes in this little packaging, just like this. And there's a lot of product. It might not look like there's a lot in here, but there's a lot in here yeah and it comes with a little card and it says greetings from the yuzu farm i'm not gonna read all of it i'm just gonna try to read you some of what this product is about it says the process starts in an organic farm in japan where local farmers care for yuzu trees using traditional hansai techniques passed down for centuries each tree starts with careful pruning leaving three master branches to fully soak in the warm Japanese sunlight 2,000 feet above sea level. Some of the ingredients include water, um, citrus, uh, there's a lot of stuff I can't read, yeast extracts, um, glycerin, other stuff. <laughs> So we're going to apply this to our face and basically I feel like I used to have the instructions take out the whole amount of the product from the package and gently apply it 
over a clean face. Wait five to 10 minutes until the mask replenishes your skin and rinse off with water or tepid water to finish. I'm just gonna put some on my finger and start rubbing that around my skin. And yeah, literally you just do this. You just do this. And it actually smells good. It's not like a strong scent, but it doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell strong, which is a good thing. It smells, it just smells fresh to me. That's what it smells like, I mean, fresh. So, you don't have to worry about smelling like, I don't know, metal or something, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't I don't think I've ever tried any other masks before. I definitely probably have. Because like I said, I am very, very new to the skincare stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I guarantee you, I haven't. This is what it looks like so far. I'm not going to try to make it perfect. So, if you guys are like, um... She's looking a bit crazy. It's because I'm I think I'm one of those people I rather not take a while like on on my skincare stuff. Like I'm very much a person that likes to just move it along. <laughs> move it along a little bit. So Having only a few steps works better for me. So, yeah. And I think another one of the reasons why I was so worried about, you know, doing skincare and stuff like that is because of my experience with my skin. I'm very, very sensitive. I have sensitive skin, like a lot of people do, but I always thought, and I grew up pretty much thinking that I wasn't gonna be able to do what other people do, put a whole bunch of stuff on their skin and you know, and what works for other people might not work for you, right? So I always was kind of too afraid to take that chance, but now I'm not as afraid because I feel like if you do enough research and you, you know, you pay attention to the way your skin is and stuff and you work with the right brands that know what they're doing, you purchase from the right brands that know what they're doing, you can get into stuff like this. So now I'm supposed to wait like 15 minutes. No, five to 10 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do and I'll be right back. Hello. <laughs> so we are back and I just realized that maybe I should have done the Laneige products after I took this off because now I feel like I'm just gonna wash off the other products. But maybe because they've like been on my face for this long underneath this, maybe I'm hoping the products will like work together. I don't I don't know. <laughs> but it, it it's fine. It's fine. So <laughs> I'm going to start taking off this and I'm actually I actually just grab because I don't have like a sink where I can just splash the water on me. I'm going to um just use these paper, these wet paper towels I have to start wiping it off. Real good. All right, so we pretty much managed to get the rest off, and this is how my skin is looking. Mm -hmm. So, some of my, my eye. Honestly, my skin feels really rejuvenated right now, and I feel like I look fresh, like, just like, I don't know, is it me? <laughs> is it me? I don't know, but, 
those are the products that I have been using for my skincare. And maybe I should go back in with my roller and like, I don't know, do some more rolling to like seal the deal. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm still learning so much about skin and skincare and what works for me and stuff like that. So, but honestly, I think these are some really great products and I would definitely purchase them again. And these are products that I'm comfortable with. You know, I feel like when you find your routine and skincare you pretty much look like to stick to that for a while until you discover a new product that maybe you'll add it in or you're switch you'll switch every now and then i feel like for the most part people do it and they keep it for a long time you know i don't think a skincare routine has to change every week you know what i'm saying so but this is what it looks like and I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. And yeah, thank you Slow Brew Botanical for sending me this. They sent me this a little while back, but <laughs> I still been using it and still enjoy the product. So go check them out. They're really, really cool. And also go check out Laneige. I got these products from Sephora, so I'm sure they might still be there or if not, I'm sure you'll find them. <laughs> Those are really great products as well. And yeah, if you want me to do another skincare video, maybe trying out some more stuff, maybe I will brave up a little bit, maybe try something new. If you have any ideas or any suggestions, or you are a really big skincare person and you know a lot about it, please educate me down in the comments. I really wanna get into it and you know learn more about it because it's something that really does interest me not only because i do makeup but just because this is something i haven't done before and yeah i hope you all have a great rest of your day please like subscribe comment share this video let's get it to 10 likes and i'll see you bye